Hello, my name is Artya Alwalia and I'm a lecturer in biomedical engineering at the Department of Information Engineering of the University of Pisa. And I'm going to present the master's degree program in bionics engineering. Bionics engineering is a new sector of biomedical engineering. The scientist Major Steele coined this term in 1958, indicating the science that seeks to generate lifelike systems and structures that mimic some of the main features of natural biological systems. The primary objective of bionics is to extend man's physical and intellectual abilities with prosthetic devices and, when necessary, such as in difficult or unsafe situations, to replace humans with intelligent automata and machines. The Masters in Bionics Engineering is a joint degree programme offered by the University of Pisa and the Scuola Superiore Sant'Anna. Some of the lecturers also come from the IMT of Lucca. The course is international and held entirely in English. We have participants from the EU as well as from non-EU countries. And as you can see in this graph here, the number of applicants has increased considerably over the years. Currently, we accept only 30 students into the programme each year. In this course, students will learn the fundamentals of the science and technology of biorobotics and neural engineering. They will also be progressively trained towards a multidisciplinary research attitude by interacting with different research fields, such as medicine, biology and neuroscience. Students will enrich their backgrounds with specific engineering skills in a number of sectors such as mechatronics, robotics, neuroprostheses, and wearable systems. The course includes two curricula, that of neural engineering and that of biorobotics. The first year has some courses in common to the two curric curricula and lays the foundation for the development of the second year's more specialized courses. Firstly, signal processing and statistical analysis methodologies for the study of physiological data. The focus will be on the signals which arise from neural and muscular tissues, for instance, those arising from human movement during dynamic motor activities. Linked to this is an introduction to methods and instruments for measuring the performance of bionic systems. And this is obviously underpinned by fundamental and basic knowledge of statistics and, and experimental design. The knowledge acquired will be applied to solve typical problems encountered in the design of bionic systems. In addition, given the importance of artificial intelligence and big data analysis in the development and deployment of many of today's technological applications, there will be a course which focuses on bio-inspired data analysis and big data handling methodologies. The 12 credit course on the analysis of bionic and robotic systems focuses on the basic principles of bionics engineering and biorobotics. First, these systems will be studied bottom up using basic analytical approaches, and then through a multi physics approach using finite element modeling as a tool to design novel bioarchitectures. Our students will enrich and broaden their knowledge by attending elective courses such as robotic programming frameworks and IoT platforms, which introduces students to programming of robotic systems using Internet of Things approaches, facilitating robot to robot communication and their control. We also offer an optional electronics course, which gives a solid knowledge base of techniques and methods related to the design of electronic systems based on sensors. Advanced Materials for Bionics uses material science concepts so that our students can learn how to exploit innovative materials for the design of intelligent mechatronic systems. The elective course on Neuromorphic Engineering introduces the development of neurorobotic systems for restoration of sensory motor functions by emulating neuron dynamics. The course on artificial intelligence systems for human identification is focused on facial recognition and on the measurement and analysis of behavioural features to identify not just people, but also their physiological or pathological status. As I mentioned, 
Students can select one of the two curricula, neural engineering or, bi or biorobotics, and they can also choose electives from the other curricula to broaden their knowledge base. The biorobotics curriculum is focused on the development of anthropomorphic robotic systems and new types of prostheses and exoskeletons. The students will initially learn the methodologies for the study of shape control problems in biological and robot systems. And they'll also learn how to use soft materials for the design of intelligent mechatronic systems. They'll then acquire skills in the field of in vitro models of organs and tissues, combining intelligent materials, innovative processing techniques, stem cells and organoids. A course on robotics for surgery is focused on how to develop robots, intelligent tools and integrated mechatronic systems to improve the precision and repeatability of surgical interventions. Here, we start from the basics and then give our skills our students the skills to design and build robots for clinical use. This course here is focused on the application of typical methodologies of regenerative medicine for the fabrication of organs and artificial or bioartificial artificial tissues. Students will also learn to develop and apply tissue engineering and micro and nano -robot robotic approaches for targeted and personalised therapies. Since the focus of the degree course is the human being, our graduates acquire the methodologies for the study of human movement during dynamic motor activities mediated by muscle tendon actuators. So here in this course, we focus on the design of robots for rehabilitation and assistance using control strategies for safe and reliable human-robot interaction. The course on wearable robotics allows our graduates to acquire methodologies for designing wearable motorized robots. These can be used for movement assistance, rehabilitation and enhancement or functional replacement. Finally, in the biorobotics curriculum, the students will learn how to develop upper limb prostheses and exoskeletons that improve the quality of life of users. The neural engineering cur curriculum focuses on the methods and techniques for the study and analysis of the central nervous system and the brain and its repair in the event of damage. After analysing the structure and function of the brain, we will start to develop models of the brain using machine learning algorithms and neural networks. We'll also provide specific training on all the micro and nano fabrication technologies used to develop structures and prostheses for repairing the nervous system. Alongside this, we provide first-hand training on the state-of-the-art in neural tissue engineering in terms of the technology and bio biomaterials needed to build viable neural graphs. Our students will also acquire sufficient competencies to develop implants for neuromodulation. This includes brain-machine interfaces as well as implantable systems for sensory motor control. Methods for imaging the brain and analyse its functions are also an important part of the degree programme. These methods are used for studying complex brain functions and their biological basis. In this course on bionic sensors, we provide training on the engineer engineering of artificial sensing systems. Here, Biological principles are applied towards the implementation of neural prostheses for the restoration of lost functions or for human enhancement and bio-inspired perceptive machines. Finally, our students will learn how to design systems capable of interfacing with humans based on a human-centred design paradigm. Here, we also focus on the importance of monitoring the efficacy of human-robot interaction, for instance, through the analysis of physiological signals corresponding to different emotional states. I'll conclude by listing job opportunities. Well, the world really is your oyster as a bionics engineering graduate. Our graduates can carry out research at universities, research centres, hospitals and industry. They can be hired as designers or production managers of advanced medical devices and automated therapeutic systems. Other openings are specialists in technical or commercial products 
for companies operating in the fields of smart materials, biorobotics and neural engineering. To date, our graduates have been hired to work in the research se sector as PhDs or in spin-offs related to the field of bionics engineering. Our data shows that 95% of our students find employment within a year of graduation. Well, thank you for listening. If you need more information, here are the links and addresses to use. Bye-bye.